Our next guest lives his life online and yesterday hit five million subscribers to his pointless blog. Uh, yeah, his first book topped the charts for 17 weeks despite barely having any words in it. <laughs> and now <laughs> Alfie Days has released the uh, the scrapbook of his life. Ta -da! This, um, this is it here. And what's great at the bottom here, from the number one best-selling author. That's pretty cool, isn't But not it? many number one best-selling authors <laughs> have got pages like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and there is a very good reason for, for these pages, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. And th this is so that you can... It's very much like your life. People leave mm -hmm. comments all the time, so you can actually make a comment in the book. Yeah, so I wanted it because I film everything I do every day. I wanted people to be able to record their lives and parts of it that are going on, as well as read on about mm. mine as well. Well, because, I mean, the last two years, every day, your, your life has been documented online. But actually, before that, mm. there's a kind of almost nothing, really, is there? It's no, nothing started, at all. It sort of broke out and, yeah. you know, it was incredible. But before that, not an awful lot's known. Yeah, this is it. That's what it is. It's documented yeah. your life pre-2009. Like, when I, was, when I was writing this, I was like, oh, obviously I had to go back to my parents to be like, what, what was I doing? Can you tell me some funny stories and stuff? And looking through, like, photo albums and videos. My parents filmed, like, everything growing yeah. up, like, hours and hours of footage, so... Um, but aren't they the scary years you're telling everybody about now? I mean, you know, when you feel sort of broke, you're, you're young but old enough to kind of know how to sort of... Yeah. You know, you can kind of limit what you put out there a little bit, but in your youth, that's when you're learning and things go wrong and all those embarrassing <laughs> stories, and yet they're all in here too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and there's like there's some of the pictures in there, like the picture of me when I was when I'm a baby. It's like the worst picture. My mum was like, that. "Don't put it in there, please." Ah, There's so much this one. one. No, look at this one. Which one? Oh, you. hang on, baby pandas, baby alfies, it's all babies. Where is it? Oh no, it's too oh, early. Oh no, that's we've lost there. Oh, oh no, that is cute. Ready? <laughs> Look, <laughs> little chubby chops. So uh, it would appear then, in that case, if your parents documented your entire life, mm. all you've done is continue that tradition. Yeah, but without knowing. No, I didn't know what was going on. But, but, now, so but when you do, now you yeah. do, um, you are, you're very honest, you're very open. Mm. I mean, it is your whole life, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, 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 I try and film everything. She but... was talking about a pap who followed her into a car park, and then you've had yeah. fans who've been outside the house who've climbed over the wall. If you share so much of yourself, yeah. it's quite hard to draw a line, isn't it? It's really hard, and because I film everything, I just love showing everything at all, so I probably encourage quite a lot of it. But, um, yeah, I, th I think the audience have, like, an understanding of what's going too far and waiting outside the house isn't OK and things like that. Mm. Um, and also what you put out there is in your control, I guess, isn't it? Yeah. You decide how much you want to... To put out there for people, whereas if it, that's taken away from you, it must feel kind of out of control sometimes. A little bit, yeah, I suppose because I get to choose, or I edit and film everything that goes out there, so mm. when other people do come and stand outside, we don't really have a say, but... What, uh, um, what, happens, what happens after all of this? I mean, five million, you hit the five million mark yesterday, so mm. congratulations. Thank you. And, uh, and this is, without question, you know, the, the new medium. Uh, you have so many viewers, more than, you know, sort of many shows. And just seeing what happens, like, there's so many different opportunities coming up all of the time, mm. just taking the right ones and having as much fun. Has it changed a lot? Because the internet seems... I mean, it's grown so much in the last few years, sort of yeah. vlogging and, and all the content that is now online. Have you noticed the change as well? Yeah, it went from like such like a calm, small little like community of like, oh, I make videos, it's a bit weird to do. And now it's like making videos is so popular and so big. And lucrative. It's scary. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, it's quite a young person's game though, isn't it? I mean, do you sort of feel that, you know, in sort of terms of the <coughs> internet and blogging, that you're sort of getting a bit older now? I mean, are there sort of the new young things coming in and taking over? Uh, I think there, there always will be, but there's more people watching YouTube than ever. Yeah. So everyone always says, I really want to start, but is it too late? And I'm like, there's more people wanting to be YouTubers, mm. but there's more people watching YouTube than ever. So, so what is it that makes watch. someone bubble to the top? Yeah. There are so many people posting stuff mm. online um, that, that only a few of them will rise to be the sort of star that, that you are, that Zoella. Uh, is that how, how, how do you bubble to the top? What do you do? Uh, if I knew the answer, then it, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I think maybe just having something unique, like something particular, why somebody should watch you over somebody else. Mm. Um, and be honest. Yeah, I, I think for me, being honest, honest really helps. It's not just, you know, the, yeah, the happy stuff. No, no, you no. You do no, everything not. as well. Yeah, yeah I, I had when to, you're like, not work on my chest, like, last year. I, like, filmed all of that in hospital, everything, yeah. 
Oh, well done you. I mean, it's incredible, isn't it? Sort of starting out where you... I mean, I imagine if you'd have looked at where you are now in those early days, you just wouldn't have believed it. Yeah. I think I think that's why it's so cool and so fun is because you just don't know what's coming. Yeah. Next. Is it going to kill telly in the end? Do you think? No, I don't think so. I really don't think so. It's such a different format. It's just completely different. Yeah. Mm. Don't kill telly. <laughs> <laughs> I like telly. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, you'll have us to answer to. Um, we uh, we've got the, the update you, on you. the challenge uh, oh, here. Oh, what's happening? Uh, what's happening? Because of course we did say to you uh, we, oh, put, we put the pictures uh, picture on the screen and you had to take your uh, take your selfie uh, in, in between the two of us. <coughs> there you go. Can you cut to them full the, frame so we can see what they look like? There you go. Oh. Oh, oh my result? God, look at the numbers. OK, there we go. Alfie, I think you might be slightly 1, winning. 1,190 to you and just over 600 to me. I Come knew on, you'd beat me. we can do me. this. We can do this. No, you never know. Throw it back. Like... I knew you beat me on this. You, <laughs> you, you are an entire, you know, sort of internet sensation. So, uh, look at that. But it's not over yet. It's not over yet. I think it is. <laughs>